Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You are watching the Oman News First from Oman Television First, the headlines. Sahar Port receives the biggest container ship visiting the Sultanate as it prepares to cope up with commercial operations transferred to it from Port Sultan Qaboos. In appreciation for their efforts, Director H. General of Education in the Governorates of Dhofar and Dahira honor more than 450 employees on Teacher's Day. And the Sultanate tonight is waiting for a rare event where numerous shooting stars will light up the skies. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Asya Safwarki of the State of Eritrea on his country's independence anniversary. With preparation for complete commercial change in August, Sohar Port this morning received the biggest container ship visiting the Sultanate, coinciding with new expansion at the port and installation of giant cranes to cope up with commercial operations transferred to it from Port Sultan Qaboos in Muscat. The ship Sabana is the first ship of its size to anchor at the port. It was payload was 10,000 standard containers with 20 feet. Omani Company for International Container Station this year signed an agreement to expand container to be 70 hectare long. This project contributed in raising the capacity from 800,000 to 1.5 million standard containers along with installation of seven cranes at the docking and 14 bridge cranes. His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed al fatesi Minister of Transport and Communication, said it is a new stage in the history of ports which are situation in the north part of the Sultanate, especially Sohar port and port Sultan Qaboos. These ports in their history, they never received a ship at this size. The new expansions were carried out at an investment worth 130 million US dollars. This step will make Sohar port capable of being competitive at shipping lanes, directly sending goods and merchandise to Oman. It is worth mentioning that Merck's line, which is considered the first company to move its commercial activity from Muscat to Sohar. Companies gradually are moving their lane services even before the set date, as, as some adding by the end of this month will conclude their transport. The University of Tokyo held a ceremony for planting three saplings of Sultan Qaboos rose in an appreciation by the University for His Majesty Sultan Qaboos for establishing a permanent chair at Higher Studies College for Literature and Science at the University in April 2011, which was meant for strengthening understanding and appreciation in Japan of numerous contributions presented by Arab and Islamic countries. In appreciation for their role and dedication, Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of Dofar held a ceremony yesterday evening to honor 271 employees from various educational work categories. The, the ceremony fell on the Teacher's Day and was held at Auditorium of Directorate General of Heritage and Culture and was presided over by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs. The Sultanate is witnessing speedy development in education and developing educational institutions. The honoring came in recognition for their efforts to serve students at various educational levels. His Excellency, the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, said that the principles of the scientific renaissance and culture of schooling had opened numerous doors for what were witness of development and growth, and numerous Amanis took up opportunities to be engineers, doctors, diplomats, and media and in all fields is outcome of teachers and teaching generation. He also voiced thanks to the educationalists. Numerous portraits were shown depicting education and its message in the society. 
In the governorate of Dahra, a ceremony was held on Teachers' Day to honor 181 members of teaching staff at Ibri College of Applied Sciences. The event included presenting educational initiatives put up by Excel teachers in education field at schools of the Velayas of the governorate of Dahra. The Ministry of Education and Space said the honoring came in appreciation for the role of teachers in hoisting education message and its development to upgrade its performance. The event was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed Al Kalbani, Minister of Social Development. The Sultanate Sky tonight is waiting for a rare event where numerous shooting stars will light up the skies visible by naked eyes in dark atmospheres. According to Omani Astronomy Society, Sultanate's people in the Sultanate will be able to see more than 100 moving meteoroids in the sky, where will be seen at the northern side prior to dawn. The society announced that reasons of this phenomenon, that shooting stars towards the Earth tonight due to flying remains of rocks of a planet, mentioning that they can be seen intensively for coming in at one time, which will form a rare opportunity waited for by enthusiasts of monitoring skies and outer space in the world for years. Still to come in our news bulletin. Pakistani mango grow a slice into India market. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The activities of the third Qasab Forum concluded in the Governorate of Musandam, which was organized by Qasab Sports and Culture Club in cooperation with Science House for Training Services, National Committee for Youth and some bodies concerned. The three-day forum aimed to provide the participants with positive communication skills and help them how to make the right decisions. The forum focused in its last day on concept of self-management, which will help you to achieve their goals in the life. The forum also included practical training programs on the methods of building relationships with the society. At the end of the forum, His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Shihi, member of Shura Council in the Vilaya of Bukha, presented the certificates to the participants. With the support of financial sector, Musca Securities Market Index registered slight increase this week to reach more than 6,000 points with the total trading volume 31.5 million after trading more than 82 million shares. Regarding to the domestic investment and non monies the purchase percentage for the local investors reached 65% compared with 76% of the selling for the investors and the domestic institutions. The purchase percentage value of non monies investors reached 10.5 million Omani reals, while the selling value for non monies reached around 7 million Omani reals. Long in the shadow of its more economically powerful neighbor India Pakistan has an opportunity to wrest advantage in South Asia's mango wars thanks to new European regulations. Here's a report. Soon they'll be ripe and ready to eat. But as harvest approaches, Pakistani mango farmers have a fight on their hands. They're up against the Drosophila fruit fly, a tiny insect that's been decimating orchards here and in neighboring India, a scourge that has caused the EU to slap a ban on Indian mango imports. In Pakistan, meanwhile, farmers are doing what they can to get rid of the flies, including using homemade traps. These holes are just to come in. They never go out. They just keep uh, circling around that swap of the cotton in, for the search of mating. And, but they never find it, they never mate, and they never come out. In this way, 
the females never get the mating from male and they never succeed in making eggs and laying the eggs on the mango. Pakistan is the fourth largest mango producer in the world, churning out 1.7 million tonnes every year. But it exports only a tiny fraction of that, so farmers are counting on the government to help them destroy the flies and become more competitive. We have requested them to do the work as they did for dengue, as they did for polio. We can eradicate it and uh, if everything th go, uh, if the things go right, we can have a bit of chunk of the Indian share also from the European market. The insects aren't the only challenge they face. An unstable water supply is an issue which has a direct effect on the size of the fruit. Pakistan's economy is still largely dependent on agriculture and opening up to the world has brought in new methods which are slowly beginning to make a difference. The globalization has improved our understanding and knowledge and it has transformed my understanding of uh, putting more uh, trees in, in the acre and to get in the end the net result is the, the product which is the fruit, the capacity of the fruit bearing per acre yield has tremendously increased. India has already asked for its export ban to be lifted. So Pakistani farmers are pushing hard to fill the gap in the market and prove to the EU and elsewhere that their mangoes are indeed the best. Now for the general weather forecast. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of scattered rain over the parts of Hajar Mountains. Winds will be north, easterly, light to moderate. Seas will be rough along the southeastern coast with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters, while it will be slight to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate's coast with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the South Note of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Sahar Port receives the biggest container ship visiting the Sultanate as it prepares to cope up with commercial operations transferred to it from Port Sultan Kabul. In appreciation for their efforts, Director is General of Education in the Governorates of Dofar and Dahira honor more than 450 employees on Teachers' Day. And the Sultana tonight is waiting for a rare event where numerous shooting stars will light up the skies. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studio, thank you for watching and good night.